Hello and welcome to the videos on securitytube.net. This is a part of cryptography video series and I will be talking more about symmetric key cryptography in this video. Symmetric key cryptography is the most famous and widely used means of cryptography today. If Alice wants to talk with Bob over a publicly shared media so that no one in between should be able to tamper those messages or no one in between should be able to read those messages even. How exactly Alice and Bob should, should communicate with each other? And the simple answer is with the help of encryption. This is the diagram which shows pictorially how the encryption will look like. A sender which is Alice will be having plain text message. She will with the help of encryption she will encrypt that message to get a cipher text message. She will be sending this cipher text message over a publicly shared network to Bob. Bob with the help of decryption will decrypt that message to get again the plain text message. The whole thing in theory is okay but how practically the whole thing is going to happen. To do the communication privately Alice and Bob have to decide upon crypto system as well as key. So they have to exchange crypto system and key in such a way so that only Alice and Bob knows the crypto system and key and no one in the world knows about crypto system and key. So they have to exchange these things privately. If you ask me to define the symmetric key algorithm formally, probably I will, I will do it like Alice and Bob have to agree on crypto system. Alice and Bob have to agree on the same shared key and the shared key should be shared between Alice and Bob only and that key should not be known to anyone else in the world. Now Alice encrypts her plain text message with the decided encryption algorithm and the shared key in step 1 and step 2. Now Alice will send that cipher text message which was encrypted with the shared key and the decided crypto system and she will send that message to Bob. Bob will decrypt the message with the same key and algorithm and Bob will be able to know the plain text message this way. This is a pictorial representation of public key cryptography algorithm. Alice is having her plain text message say meet me at midnight. She will encrypt that message with the encryption key and she will send that encrypted message or cipher text message to Bob. Bob is having one more pair of the same key. So Bob will be able to decrypt that message to get again the same plain text message meet me at midnight or showing it with an analogy Alice will keep this meet me at midnight plain text message in a box. She will lock that box with the help of encryption key and she will send that box over a publicly shared medium to Bob. There is an eavesdropper Eve sitting on the publicly shared medium. He can capture all those packets sent by Alice to Bob or Bob to Alice but since the box is locked with the help of encryption key he is not able to open the box and he cannot read the messages since the key is shared between Alice and Bob and no one in the world knows the key he cannot do anything and he cannot open the message and thus symmetric key cryptography is secure from the world. Now a natural question whether the symmetric key cryptography algorithm is foolproof. If not, what are the possible attacks against symmetric key cryptography algorithm? And there are possible attacks. The first attack can be ciphertext only attack where Eve is having full access to ciphertext. Now since the medium Alice is sending the packets is a public, Eve can capture all the packets transferred between Alice and Bob. Now Eve can try to do some cryptographic attacks on these ciphertext packets to generate either the key or the plain text messages. So if the cryptographic algorithm is enough weak, Eve will be able to succeed to crack the key or to get the plain text with ciphertext only attacks. The best example is RC4 algorithm how it is used in web in wireless communication. The way it is implemented, the way RC4 is implemented for web is weak. So there are some weak initialization vector which will leak out the information to crack the key. The second possible attack can be you will try to listen to step 1 and step 2 in which Alice and Bob are actually sharing the crypto system algorithm and the key. The, for any ideal crypto system algorithm the whole secret should be key only. The crypto system algorithm should be open and 
the security should not be by obscuring the algorithm but the security should lie in only key once the key is compromised anyone should, anyone will be able to decrypt the message but unless and until key is properly secured no one should be able to decrypt the message so in that case alice and bob can do even step 1 in public also the next possible attack will be some active attacker can send his own packets to bob now if the active attacker knows the key he can actually encrypt the packets with the correct key and send that send those packets to bob bob has no knowledge whether the packet is coming from actually alice or someone in between someone eavesdropper is sending the packets so bob will again respond to those packets and eve will win otherwise if eve is not having the actual key still eve can send some packets to bob now those packets bob will try to decrypt after decryption the plain text will be some garbage plain text gibberish plain text but bob has no idea whether that gibberish plain text is actually sent by alice or there is some problem in the communication medium so bob will probably conclude that there is some problem in communication medium or there is some problem with alice itself either thing is dangerous uh, the symmetric key cryptography is based on the trust between alice and bob so if alice breaks do that trust and gives the key to someone else bob cannot do anything and that third party to to whom alice has given the key can again send the messages to bob and bob cannot conclude whether the message is coming from alice and alice or the third party so the prob the main problems with symmetric key cryptography are the the same key is shared between alice and bob so unless and until that key is changed the compromise in key can be easily uh, exploited by the attacker listing the problems with symmetric key cryptography first problem is key must be distributed in secret alice and bob have to share the key in secret and there is no key management funda explained in the algorithm next problem is if key is stolen or compromised then eve can also decrypt all the messages transferred between alice and bob or even eve can generate his own messages which are legitimate for either parties so either parties will not be able to know whether the message is coming from the trusted party or some eve's dropper eve the third problem with symmetric key cryptography is if there are n number of parties involved in this symmetric key cryptography then a separate key has to be shared between all these n combinations and in that case number of keys each party has to maintain will go up drastically and key management itself will be a big problem for symmetric key cryptography in that case that's it for this video thank you i will be creating separate video for public key cryptography so next video will be on public key cryptography i will be explaining how exactly public key cryptography works what is a public what is a shared key what is a private key what is a public key and the mechanism in which these keys will be transferred between parties thank you